Hello everybody, I'm Luca Oliva, Bioptica Product Specialist, and today we will talk about our marking dies. Bioptica marking dies are surgical inks that are used to identify surgical margins in anatomical topology. They are atoxic because they are made of polymers of natural origin. They dry in 2-3 minutes. They are ready to use and they don't need any uh, fixation step in other solutions. They don't spread in the tissue and they don't stain the solvents during the tissue processing. Bioptica marking dyes uh, comes in different sizes. So we have also a bottle of 30 ml and bottles of 240 ml. 30 ml bottles come in this kit. So we have seven colors, green, orange, yellow, red, blue, purple and black. Otherwise, we have also big bottles of 240 ml capacity. Thank you to Bioptica Marking Dyes, the result will be of high quality. So here you can see the results, red margin and blue one. So now let's see how Bioptica Marking Dyes work. Uh, bioptica marking dyes are used in the trimming phase, so when uh, the pathology lab receives the samples. Uh, samples uh, can be received in our safety containers Clesidra or otherwise in a prefilled container, classical prefilled containers with formalin. Once the sample comes to the laboratory, it is removed from formalin. and put into the trimming plate. During the trimming phase it is important to uh, register some information about the sample. So it is important to measure the sample, to have uh, information about the sizes. So in the plate there are also uh, the rulers for the measures. And also in this phase uh, we have the use of the marking dies when the surgeon and the pathologist uh, needs to know to recognize the, the margins of the samples. So, we can cut the sample. The pathologists know how to cut it in order to recognize the margins. And then, according to the needs, uh, he can use the colors he wants uh, to recognize the single arrays. So, for example, we can use the blue one. And we can put it on the sample. And we can spread it with the help of a brush. If we need to distinguish another margin, we can use another column. And obviously another brush. Then we can let dry the sample for 2 or 3 minutes and then if, if it is already fixed we can put it into a tissue cassette that can be a super mega cassette or a standard one for tissue processing. If it is a fresh tissue we can put it in formalin again to let the, fix the fixation start.
Many thanks for the attention and see you next time.